mistake. Well, I just kind of fixed this uh, little cubby up. There's a foothold right there, and then the muskrat there. It, the, the mink came and stole the muskrat yesterday, so it's to a sliding wire to a rock that's way down there. So uh, I set a muskrat trap here, which is another stop loss foothold, and I can see that it's gone. So I just set it on the log just right there on this pole. So there you go. I'm actually new to using these stop losses. That looks pretty good. The idea is they can't twist their foot off. So, right on. So I just seen some shit on that big log and I just set it right there and bang, good. So I just reset it, that's all I did. You know, nothing fancy, no notch or anything. The stop loss trap kind of sits a little bit nicer. So uh, I'm hoping for a mink in this one uh, tomorrow. I'm just gonna walk down my trail here and uh, go check my other traps. I set another mink slide wire and uh, a couple otter traps. Okay, well, it uh, looks like there's a trap missing on this one today. So, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> anyways, I can see the rat down there. So, I'll reset that. I'm uh, checking traps in my canoe today because it's not too windy. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, my canoe floated away on me and I had to run in the water all day already. <laughs> and I broke my paddle. So it's not too good of a start, but, uh, I caught a mink. So, yeah, so I'll get this guy out of here and I moved some floats from the bay. I already caught, uh, 16 muskrats from that little bay. So that's enough. So I'm going to take all the floats out of there now and uh, move, move some of them. I set some traps here yesterday. I set three in a row, different sizes. Uh, I thought there was just muskrats going through here but uh, and maybe an otter, but uh, it looks like I caught three beavers. I didn't even know there was a beaver house here. So, I mean, the only one I can see good is, is this one here. It looks like a, a baby in a 280. But, uh, well, I'll pull them all out here and show you. Well, that sucks they're beavers because there's three, but um, I didn't know there was a beaver house here, so I guess the house must be back in, in here somewhere, this just this run. But I thought it was muskrats. I'm gonna put a float out here. Oh, well. Yeah, there you go. I got the a baby, you know, just a little guy in a 280. And then I got this one. Pretty small one too, in a two, uh, yeah, it's a 220, a 280, and a 330. Three beavers overnight, oh. I put a, I pre-baited for some mink right there. It doesn't look like it's gone, but I'm gonna put a float here anyways. So I got two more floats and I got spots where I, spots in mind. Okay, well, we're at the next bay over here. Uh, I just pulled that rat out of the water and just put him on top of the float so you can see. So uh, I'm not doing too good here yet, you know. Uh, that's only my second rat out of this bay. I just, uh, over on that point there, I, I pre-baited for mink and it was gone, so I just set up a, a, a trap for that. And I pre-baited over there too, I haven't checked that yet. I also have another float over there and another float over there. This is the second float I've checked and only the first rat out of this bay. So, like I said, it's not too good. Well, I'm back at this dam here, same uh, same area as those. I just caught that muskrat. I can uh, come a different way today because I got the canoe. I'm on a leash now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is a little disappointing. Bunch of fucking small beavers today. But uh, whatever, that's two beavers out of this house. Good boy, stay. So I'll take him out of here and uh, that's, uh, well I got traps to check on the way back. I got three trap, three beaver traps to check on the way back, which uh, there's a good chance that those got beavers in them. So. So that's how I'm setting for mink now. You know, you just 
there's a, a, a foothold there on a slide wire with the chain already pulled as tight as it can be underwater and then uh, the muskrat there. You know obviously it's important that he can't get tangled on anything. So doing it in rocks is a great place. Alright so I'm at my uh, so I'm at my next spot here. Uh, I don't see the trap so I got my uh, my uh, setters. Oh, there he is. Did I tie off to here? Oh. Holy shit. He's carrying a stick. It's not a very good catch though. I don't know why that happened. It's an okay sized beaver though, that's good. Well I'm at the next trap for the for the same house that I just caught that big beaver at. Um, looks like another small one. He was actually leaving where I uh, put the bait. So uh, yeah, just a small one. Not a baby or anything, but so I'll uh, I'll take this down and uh, get this guy out and go to my last trap. Right, Tiger? He's got company up there in the front now. I put all the beavers in the back before, but I'm getting up there. That's a uh, well, this would be, this is six beavers here today. Yeah, so uh, there's my beaver on my, uh, the last trap I set yesterday. So looks like an okay size one, not, not a baby, but uh, only got one real big one today. Uh, so I'll take that guy out of there and uh, that's seven beavers today, three muskrats, no, four muskrats and uh, one mink today. So that's not too bad because I set all those traps yesterday. It's actually not a bad one, pretty good. It's almost as big as uh, that other big one. So I, I reset it there because, uh, you know, I just did my numbers and where, I'm, where I want to trap and everything. So yeah, hopefully I catch another big one. All right, the, the, the little ones, what I'm gonna do is I tan them and put them on a, make up, put them on a hoop and I'm just gonna try and sell them like that. Just uh, by myself, I'll actually make more money off the little ones. <laughs> but I have to put way more work into it, so. All right, well, that just took me a long time just to even get everything out of the canoe. Just because of the, the friggin' mud I gotta work around to get, you know, I can't just pull the canoe up loaded just to stepping in that mud and everything. But, so yeah, I got uh, <laughs> all this and uh, that stuff there, my ax and my, uh, that's like my emergency gear. All that has to go into that backpack. Obviously not at once. If I didn't have so much, I'd bring bring home bring back some of those traps too. But uh, oh man, I wonder how many trips this is gonna be. Seven beavers, three muskrats, and uh... wait, three muskrats. Where the hell's the other one? I gotta do some thinking. Well, maybe, oh, it's on the other end already. My third muskrat. Yeah, I only did catch three muskrats. My third muskrat is at my uh, aluminum canoe with the motor on it. Well, I just did three, or uh, sorry, two two trips on the portage. It's, it's about, uh, like I said before, it's maybe 900 meters, just under a kilometer. So uh, I got a, uh, these two beavers there, the first trip, and the two muskrats, my bucket and uh, my bucket of muskrats and the, my emergency stuff, my axe and gloves there. And the last trip I just carried uh, this big beaver here in the mink, <coughs> the little baby one and then that medium sized one. I, I carried the mink, the big one, and the small one in my backpack and then that one on my shoulders just kind of behind me, grabbed onto its front and hind foot. That made for an easier carry than just putting it all in the backpack, but it's the wolf pack. You buy it from uh, North Bay, the, the trans, or the, from Fur Harvesters, their store. I'm pretty sure they still sell it. They might have stopped, but I don't know. I, I love that thing. It's, uh, it's actually pretty comfortable with when you put beavers in it. Uh, two more beavers to get, I think. 
and uh, right. Yeah, because I brought five so far. Yeah, I got two more beavers to get, and uh, my applesauce. I'm running on pancakes and applesauce so far today. I had pancakes for breakfast and applesauce for lunch, so it's not too good of a of a fuel for doing this kind of stuff, but. Get them all loaded up, get all my beavers in here, and uh, just gonna put the dog in and uh, get going. Oh, forgot a muskrat in here. I did this so no, so no animals could get into it. Just do that. So uh, actually, might as well just take that milk crate. fun trying to walk across that. <laughs> Tiger, he's just following me around eating his beaver tail that I just gave him. Got one more beaver to pack up. It's quite the carry just to get it to the cabin, or to the skinning shack, which is even farther in the cabin. But 